I'm so happy to have you back on the show. I am prefacing this because we may release some of the visual aspect of this podcast. Uh, I'm being scammed into making it a visual medium. And I am wearing sunglasses. Mm -hmm. And I will be wearing sunglasses for the duration of the podcast. I I have on a hat, too. I look like I'm about to go set it off in the bank. It's giving day after. It's giving I need (laughs) that money. What's it gonna be? That's what it's giving, okay? Because I got to pretend today. I got hay fever, (laughs) y'all. Hey. (laughs) So it's not contagious. I checked for COVID. I had done some COVID tests. I was telling Carl before I came uh, onto the pod. And that would suck if COVID, if one of the symptoms of COVID was like, you, I'm not sick at all. I don't have no, like, I don't have no nose running, no cough, no nothing. Right. My eyes are just really red. <laughs> just blood and that's I got, Man, that would, that would suck. And y'all, it's not no regular red eye, okay? Like, I showed Colin, you, Judith, like, everyone out front, and y'all all audibly gasped. Oh, yeah. She got Louboutines on, on, the, <laughs> on the minds right now. I got bloody eyes. No, you don't want to see those. So, yes, I will be looking like a rapper if you see any clips. And that's why I haven't changed on y'all, okay? I'm just as shady as I always was. I'm staying humble and shady. But we always ask on this podcast, Carl, what is your relationship with scams? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Have you ran some? Have you had some run on you? Anything you can talk about? I feel like I'm being scammed right now with these glasses on. Uh (laughs) No. You want to look at my red ass eyes? <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, hold, let me think. Let me think. My relationship with scams. Uh, I've never been scammed. I've gotten my card used That's a, That's a scam. Okay, so maybe I have been scammed. You said that so proudly and so quickly. <laughs> I've gotten my card used. I was chosen. I love that the way you said that credit card fraud happened to you. You were like, I've gotten my card used. It almost acts, It's almost like you wanted them to. You're like, yeah. I've gotten my password in a, in a breach. You know, they yep. hit me up. Uh-oh, I'm, I'm breaking stuff. I, I, I don't got my password in the breach. But the card being used, they used it at, uh, what's the furniture store? Ashley Furniture. Ashley? They used yeah. that? What, what, what year was it? Like, I bought a couch. It was like 2012. And I didn't have the money, so they, of course, it declined. Right. They but. also went real big. They had good aspirations for you. Yeah. They went to try to buy a whole, and that's when those places were like the coveted furniture. I remember going in there and sitting on everything. It was all dark brown wood. Yeah. Weird those were the patterns. days. Ashley Furniture. That's where it was used at. But since then, it hasn't been. I protect my mom from scams because she likes to click on links. Oh, yes. And the sad part is she ain't even old. Like, my mom had me really young, so she's like still like a young woman, but she likes to click on links. She'll send me links and be like, look at this. I'm going, I'm not clicking on that. And don't you click on that. My mom, same way. She had me at 21 and a link every day. I'm not kidding. In the family group chat. And it's usually something on Facebook that's some quote that's on the sunset background. I'm like, mama, I'm not <laughs> clicking on that. Stop clicking on stuff, parents. Parents who listen to this, don't click. On, nothing is good on the internet. No. Unless you're looking for it. And if you're really tempted to click, instead of clicking, copy and then paste it in your browser. Yes. Because, like, when you click sometimes, that'll be, like, opening shit up, like, where they can access information yes. or, like, get into your phone. Just like I, just like I do when, when I get a call from a number. Mm-hmm. That I, and they're getting good with that, too. Oh, yeah. Like, the, the area code is the same. Mm-hmm. The first three digits is the same. Sometimes the last three digits is the same. I'm like, 310, XXX, XXX, And I'm like, oh, that, oh, they try to give me the answer because I'm going to be like, oh, this is my cousin or somebody. Exactly. It's not, it's not your cousin. And it's so hard, too, because we both work in production. Mm-hmm. And when you work in production, now I have to give people a Google voice number because I'm just like, I can't have just every random person in L.A. having, you know, who yeah. wanted to, whatever, having my number. But in production, you don't know if it's the network calling you. You don't know if it's the COVID people calling you or yeah. anything. So you have to kind of pick up some random numbers. I choose by area code. See, but that's what they want. So if it's 818, and this is for the scammers listening to this. If it's 818, I'm probably going to answer. Because 818 is usually money. 818's money? I thought 310 was money. 310 is, see, I'm from I'm from Inglewood. So 310 ain't always money. If it's 310 and then my same three digits of my number, not, not money. But if it's Santa Monica, California, 310. Mm, let me answer yeah. this. Some 323s. Yeah, some 323s. No 213s. No 213s. No, no, absolutely not. We know that's crime. No 562s. If you calling me from Long Beach, I'm not answering the phone. (laughs) I know you do a crime. Yeah. Absolutely not. Uh, And that's our class breakdown of crime phone calls. (laughs) (laughs) 
Yeah, this is this is racially motivated. <laughs> it is extremely. Yeah. Okay, and we want to put that out there and make it clear. Okay, but wait, I have another question because you said that someone like there was a password breach. Yeah, you know, like when you when you type in your password on the site and mm-hmm. they like, my bad, big dog, we messed up. Somebody done caught your password. You got to change that joker. Oh, so you're talking about like when they're prompting you to change your password because it's like too easy, yeah. or they're like, yeah, like it's it, it's on a list of passwords that. And I've I've gone through that before too. It's like this password is, you've had the same password on other sites and it's been detected and this and because you know, I mean we grew up in that era where it's like, I came up with my password when I was nine. Oh, I took my password from my mom. Yeah, <laughs> she used her password. She could literally probably break into all my shit. Well, now no because they're forcing us to switch They're forcing it up. us to change. Yeah, two factor authentication, all that type of stuff. But back in the day, you know, when when we first got on them computers, they usually. If you didn't have a like an extra room at your house, I wasn't allowed to have a computer in my room, so it was in my mom's room. And then when I'm signing up for all these little gaming websites and stuff, I use the same password over and over and over again. And I still use that into adulthood until recently, when I was like, "Damn, I gotta start changing my passwords." Yep. And the thing is, it's like Apple always trying to fuck what you're talking about. Oh, use our suggested password. Yeah. It's Like I would never remember this ever again. Exactly. So now you gonna have it, and I don't have it. Right. Yeah. So it was nah. on one two four five seven nine seven three yeah. <laughs> WZ uh, lowercase uppercase money sign hashtag uh, ampersand <laughs> right that's and too much too much going on in the new but, passwords but as I am growing into more adulthood I did realize I had to have like a serious password and a goofy password yeah because I yeah. can't be putting my real bank password into like some goofy ass website exactly exactly my bank passwords are different yeah and only person that has that is me and my financial advisor. Or not financial advice, but like, you know, my accountant yeah, guy. Yeah, exactly. Who I threaten him every day. Okay, we see, I'm glad we're on the same page because when I interviewed my accountant currently, I did threaten him. Because yeah. I just needed him to know that it's not just about, like, if you steal my money, it's not, we're not just going to go to court. No, 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 no. Like, no, no. Uh, it's on site. No, I'm going to put them paws on you. Yeah. If you mess with my money, because that's different. Because, like, if you mess with my money, if you take my money from me, I got nothing to lose. Right. I'll go to jail at that point. Right, so, if you done robbed me real good. Yeah, like how I be watching like uh, NFL docs about people and they, mm-hmm. and they hire these people and they just bleed them dry. So yeah. now none of those people got money. I'm like, if you do that to me, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm going to find you with a billy club. Right, I'm going to blame the CTE. Maybe I can get out yeah, of it. Exactly, it's going down. <laughs> but, but you go get hit. I was like, you know, I keep a bat in the trunk. <laughs> but then you stop laughing like a little too soon. Like, <laughs> oh, I was dead serious. When I hired my guy, I said, hey, because he's a friend. Okay. And I said, I'm hiring you and I'm trusting you. If anything goes wrong, uh, yeah, he's a friend. Like, I've known him for a long time. But, but this I'm is, saying, like, if y'all go to dinner, like, he know how much bread you got. You like, let's split the check. He's like, let's not. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, let's not split it. You pay for it. But he's, this is his job. Like, he okay. does this for a bunch of people, which also helped me trust him a little bit more. Mm. And, but I, I told him, I was like, man, I'm, I'm not joking with you. If something goes down, it's going to be an issue. And yeah. he got that. And I think he understands that. And, ain't nothing, and he's real. He's a real stickler. Because at first, I was like, my man. Like, he be, he be hitting me up about charges. And I'd be like, my man, chill, man. Come on. It's business. I went to Foot Locker for business. <laughs> and he's like, business. he's really on it. He's really on the tax stuff. So so he's like, I'm I'm watching out for you. I might have to hear about this man after this. I think you know him. You might know him. Okay. We'll talk about Oh, yeah. Him. We'll talk after. But... <laughs> We're just it's getting our taxes on here. No, but that's, I, I absolutely am. I'm so glad that somebody else feels that way because if you play with my money, you play with my emotions. And yes, I just quoted Big Worm. <laughs> well, it was scary for me because I grew up broke as hell. So I was like, man, I can't afford to lose this. I think it, nobody <laughs> wants to move backwards in yeah, any way. Exactly. Like my parents, like we're like upper middle class, like black people, but I'm not trying to move back or, or worse further than where I started. Exactly. So, yeah, no, you got to be a good steward of your money out there, y'all. And don't share your passwords with people. And also, if you got a goofy password that you know you've entered in on at least one porn site or one gaming (laughs) site, if your password on Candy Crush the same as your password to your bank, like, let's switch it up. (laughs) Yeah, don't do that. Just go ahead and throw them in the comments of this episode. Yeah, and I'll tell you. Yeah, and we'll tell you if your password is safe or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll DM. roast your password. People love that. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna roast your password. Send it to me. Listen, we got jokes for your yeah. password. Okay, so y'all just put it in the comments when this episode comes out. Yeah. And we're gonna give you a good giggle. Yeah, and make sure you include your email too, so we can yeah. get you back with the roast. And like a first pet. Yeah, yeah, mom's. 
car. Mom's maiden name. Yeah. Hometown. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to roast it. We're going to have a good time, y'all. Real interaction with the fans. Okay. We said parasocial and go, we are friends now. <laughs> yeah. So, y'all, as friends, <laughs> let us be your accountant who's also your friend. Y'all see what I'm saying? Y'all know the vibes. We love it here.